So I just got home, I ended up picking up a little bit Subway, nice little foot long. I'm gonna eat that real quick and then if you guys, as you guys know, I drop value bombs at the end of every single video so definitely stick around and I'll catch you when I'm done eating. Alright guys, so now, um, you're, this is probably why you're here for the video. Uh, today I'm actually gonna be talking about Sick W. if you guys don't know what it is. It's basically the, the paid checker that I do use um, to verify information about my phones that I go ahead and buy. For me, it's kind of like my go-to, uh, pretty much for, pretty much for any uh, IMEI that comes to me. What's really great about it is it, you do have to pay for it, but one, it, it's not very expensive, and two, uh, you can either access it on your desktop or you could do it right on your mobile device. It t takes a little bit sometimes uh, longer to t get a check going on your phone, but um, with that said, you can still access any feature that you would on a desktop with your mobile device. So today I'm going to be walking you guys through, showing you on my computer screen basically which checkers that I use mainly for, why I use them, um, and then you guys can replicate that if um, you guys want to, I guess. Uh, and one thing I want to mention is if you guys are, are trying to only use free services, yeah, there's like IMEI Pro out there, there's Swappa, um, there's a couple other ones you guys can check. Like, yeah, they're free, but the way you have to think about it is pay for, for good information. I mean, a lot of that, those times when I used to use Swappa and IMEI Pro, I get false information and so you get what you pay for, in that case you're not paying nothing, so you're probably not gonna be able to rely on that too too much. And Sick W, to be honest, I've never had a problem with it. I've always had good information. Uh, I think there was maybe once where it was a wrong carrier, but literally other than that, and I'll show you guys here, I think I have over like 150 checks or something like that. So enough of me talking right here. I'm gonna hop into my computer, show you guys pretty much the website and how to use it. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so we are in my computer now. You guys see the website is called uh, www.sickw.com. Uh, again, this is literally my favorite website. Other people use other things. Um, probably people will comment on this video that they hate it or they've had, had bad experience. But just um, speaking on my own experience, I really like the platform. It's great. It's simple. You guys can see here. This is the, the literally the only like user face um, of the website. And so um, kind of walking you guys through it. All you do need to sign up. Again, this is a paid thing. There are free checkers in here uh, in this checklist down below, and I'll show you guys that here in a second, but you do need to create an account. One thing you guys should know is you have to put in $20. I don't know why um, they make you do that, but you have to put in 20 bucks. It's literally irrelevant. Um, I've been using this checker since June uh, 2018, and I mean, I'm filming this in what? November 17th, uh, 2018, so it's been many months. I've used it, and I've still never run out of the $20. Um, some checkers, they, they range in price. Some are free. Some are like three, five cents, and they go up to like 20 cents are the ones, the most expensive ones that I use, and still, like, that's literally irrelevant. So um, you don't have to put in $20. I think it does go, you could do it through your PayPal. So go ahead and do that, and so every time you log in, you won't have to go put in money or it's not going to charge you anything. It'll just deduct from that 20 every single time, which I think is a pretty cool thing. And so literally this is the user face. It's literally the home button here. What's really cool is um, like for me, this is probably one of the best features is you can check your order history and I'll show you guys some of the ones that I've checked before and what they look like based on these certain options. But that's really helpful if you need to go back and like, let's say somebody report it. And so like, let's say you ever get in trouble with like law enforcement, like something gets lost or stolen. Um, they report it and they come to you. Well, now you have evidence that they, they literally will tell you um, like the date that you checked it. This is what it said. Um, like it's not blacklist or anything. So you can show that you buy it. Uh, you bought it uh, like not knowing or not even at a blacklist kind of status. So that's really cool. Um, and then this uh, another thing is they have like an I, uh, uh, IMEI service check. It's on the original page. It's not when you log in, but 
Um, I've never used this before, so I, I appreciate nobody asked questions about it because I don't want to give you guys any information that I don't know anything about, but kind of getting into the bread and butter of it. All you have to do is here. This is where you're going to write your IMEI, and once, you're, once you write the IMEI, you're going to go down here, and this is all your options. And to be very clear, when you go, I don't know when you guys are going to be watching this video, but these services change a lot. Like the, like the um, I literally think this thing changed in the last time I had checked this, like five minutes ago. These things changed a lot, but the main information that I do use um, on these websites, on SIGW itself, um, it's literally the main one, so don't worry about it if you see a little bit, if it looks a little bit different when you go ahead and check it. But the main ones that I use are Apple Basic Info and iPhone Carrier S1. So what's great about Apple, Apple Basic Info, this is probably the main one if you guys just wanna see um, like when it was bought uh, or like the warranty, you can see like if it's actually unlocked or not, you can see um, the IMEI, you can see the gigabyte on it. So I'll show you guys one, what it pretty much looks like. So this was an Apple Basic Checker. This was an Apple Basic Info check that I had done. This was yesterday, I think. Um, so literally, um, you guys can see here, I paid 10 cents for it. And this is basically what it'll look like. Sometimes it'll look a little bit different. 90% of the time, it'll give you all this information. Other times, um, it'll just give you like the main information, like maybe not the part number, like the part number country. But this is basically the best one and like the most thorough thing you'll get in terms of a checker. This one you could tell iPhone X 64 gigabyte CDMA and GSM. So we could tell the IMEI, the MEID, uh, the serial number. It could tell if the iCloud lock is on or off. You could tell the status of the iCloud, so if it was blacklisted or not. Um, and this honestly, a lot of this is super useful uh, if you want to see like if somebody's coming to you with an I, iCloud locked phone. You guys know a lot of the times it'll just be password locked and not iCloud locked. So if you guys are curious about that, just use this checker. You can also use this one down over here. Um, but if you're looking for a little bit more information, I'd recommend Apple Basic Info. But I think there's a let's see. Sometimes they have an iCloud hint one. Yeah, see iCloud on and off. So this is literally only three cents. So if that's all you, you you're checking, I'd recommend using the three cent iCloud on off one. But if you want a little bit more information, for me, I like to get as much, much information about the phone as possible. So I really do like the Apple basic info. Uh, again, it'll tell you like the part number, the country, purchase country, um, your limited warranty is active. And this is probably a very, this is use, very useful information is when it's supposed to be like when it predicts that it was bought around. Um, usually it's pretty accurate by that. And so um, when you're checking like if a phone, like some, I, like I work with private buyers, they need to know sometimes if the phone has been activated for more or less than 30 days, especially like when it's brand new in box. Um, it makes a big difference on the price, so that's useful for me. And then this is this is probably one of my favorite things about the ba Apple Basic Info is the SIM lock. So uh, what that basically means is it's gonna tell you one of two options. Is the phone locked to a carrier and is it not? So the one downside of the ba Apple Basic Info is it's actually not gonna tell you the care, the original carrier of that phone, but if you're just looking at like, let's say somebody says the phone is unlocked. If you just wanna see if it's unlocked, 99% of the time it'll be Verizon, but if you wanna just see if that phone's unlocked, I use Apple Basic Info, and like you guys know, I don't know how long you've been on this channel, but a long time ago I released a, a video about how I actually go ahead and check if a phone is unlocked and I'd use the SIM card method, right? So you can put them in and see if it's not supported with that, cam that carrier, it'll say SIM not supported. If it is, it'll let you go through the original settings and this is going through um, like from the hello page, you put in the SIM card and that's how I used to check if it's unlocked. Now all I do is use the IMEI and check if the SIM lock says unlocked or locked. And so if it usually says, um, like if I want this information, one step I can go from there is, I told you I use this a lot, is um, iPhone carrier S1. I honestly don't know the difference between the two. I've only used S1. Uh, I don't. If you guys know what the difference is, let me know in the comment section down below. Other people will probably have that, in, that uh, have that curiosity that I do, but I really never needed anything else. And so iPhone carrier S1, let me find, see if I can find one, I think. So like here's an Apple basic one. You can do, guys can tell it doesn't give as much information. You can tell the iCloud was on, it was reported lost, um, and it's SIM locked. So it basically means it isn't truly unlocked. It's locked to a carrier. So I think, um, let me see if I could find one that tells me. So this one, um, this is a pretty cool, I think this was, yeah, it's 25 cents. See, sometimes they change the price, I don't really know, but like this one, it tells you um, the phone and the gigabyte, but also tells you the initial carrier. So this one I could see like it was sold by Verizon, the initial carrier is Verizon, and it is unlocked, but it, this could say unlocked if it wasn't paid off. Uh, there's one, I don't, 
I'm not gonna go through too much of it, but this one, see, this one said US Sprint, Virgin Boost. Um, so it's locked to Sprint, iPhone was on. So you guys can tell like it's very useful. That's a huge resource that I never had. It's, sometimes it's really hard to find what is the original carrier of the phone. If you're just using the, the uh, like Verizon, IMEI check, AT&T, I check. Sometimes you can put it through there and it'll let you go through the settings showing it's not even, that it is paid off. When in reality, sometimes it might not even be, um, like you can't even use that with that carrier. So that's pretty cool. Um, I really like that. And so scrolling through the other ones, that's basically the only ones that I use. So for any of you that are doing phone flipping, I'd recommend those three, I guess, would be iPhone Carrier S1, Apple Basic Info, and iCloud on and off. And yeah, there's other stuff out here too. Um, you can see like, this is one I've used in the past. You guys know, uh, again, I don't really know when you're watching this video, but when I'm filming this, um, the T-Mobile site doesn't really tell you if it's paid off or not. Something I'll check is the T-Mobile USA Status Pro or Simple. Uh, kind of play around with it. I forgot necessarily which information they give. Uh, but if you guys ever want to see like what information a, a thing would give, you could just click on it and it'll tell you like if it's you clean or simple, if that's the simple one and the pro one. Um, so it, it might give the, the same information. So like this is what it'll do. It'll tell, like this is what you'd get. So the IMEI will show you, it'll show you what the ESN status is on the T-Mobile phone and it'll tell you the reason it wasn't paid off. So that's super, like it's a super powerful piece of information. It'll literally tell you when it was blacklisted also. Uh, so if you guys ever wanna see like this simple one, it'll just tell you this. So this is one I've used in the past. It'll just tell you the ESN status. So if you're looking to see if a T-Mobile phone is paid off, it'll if it is, it'll just say that. If it was reported lost or stolen, it'll literally tell you which one it is. If it's blocked by them, if it's not paid off, I get this one a decent amount. Um, It'll be outstanding balance. And then this one too, it'll even tell you possibly if it's not even with T-Mobile. So uh, I think that's the only one that I've messed with on these actual other ones because I could check through like ting.com, but this one might be a little bit more legit than those. Uh, so if you guys wanna try them out, definitely do what I recommend that you're paying like five cents to 20 cents per check. And again, you put up 20 bucks, you could see why that lasts so long. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about this website. I mean, it's super powerful. If you're not using it, I definitely recommend it. It'll definitely like make your life so much easier in the phone flipping game. So if you find if you guys found some value in today's video, I definitely appreciate a thumbs up. If you guys aren't subbed to the channel yet, you guys know what to do. Hit that little subscription button down below. So with that said, I'll catch you tomorrow in the next video.